On today's video, we will see what's inside of this box, how to use this product, my favorite feature about it, and my 7 tips for airbrush care. At the end, I will share a link for you to access and download a free basic guide on getting started with airbrushing. So let's get right into it. Hello folks, Jorge D'Amico here. I always struggle to accommodate my airbrush on my workbench. I don't have much available space in my studio, and because of that, I never had a proper place to install an airbrush holder. In trying to solve this problem, I had an idea to use an airbrush cleaning jar to serve as my airbrush holder as well. By doing that, killing two birds with one stone. Unfortunately, I wasn't happy with all the options I was finding in the market. Most of them have a rounded jar shape, curved at the bottom, making them prone to tilt. Being clumsy as I know I am, that wouldn't work for me. I am 100% sure that pretty easily messy accidents would happen. I was about to give up when I came across this product. Same concept, but with a key difference. It's a jar shape. It also appeared to be heavier, promising to be more firm on my workbench. So I decided to give it a try and bought it on Amazon for 15 bucks. By the way, it is worth mentioning that this isn't a sponsored clip. I literally needed it and bought the product to use and satisfy my needs. It comes with a top cap, an eyedropper, a few filters, the jar with the lid, and the airbrush holder. The concept is very simple. You get a container with a side hole where you insert the airbrush so you can spray the paint residue inside of the container. On top of it, there is a vent hole to insert the filter and a cavity to plug the holder for your airbrush to stand on it. The jar is made out of thick glass with a more angular corner shape at the bottom compared to the other brands. The whole device, without the cap, weights one pound, almost half of a one kilogram. It is definitely heavy and sturdy enough to do not tilt with an accidental hand or arm bump. And its shape makes it more stable on a flat surface because of its angular bottom. The combination of shape, weight and a reasonable price definitely makes this product a great option. Finally, I want to share with you my 7 tips to maintain your expensive airbrush always in good order. I hope today's quick video added any value and it was useful to you. Please leave your comments below and let me know about your experiences with airbrush holders. As I promised, you can download the basic guide on getting started with airbrushing for free. The link is on the video description below. And if you like this video and you'd like to see me creating more content like this one, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Oh, and don't forget to click on the bell icon as well so you can keep up to date every time I post something new. Thanks for watching, we see each other on our next video. Ciao!